For today's lesson, we're going to look at how to use the additive method using Google SketchUp. On your screen, you will see the building block that we will model using SketchUp for schools. This activity can be found in Google Classroom under additive method. The first thing that we are going to look at when doing is finding the correct positioning or point of view in order to model our block. Mike is on our screen in order to give us a scale proportion on what we are going to be looking at in building. The first thing we'll want to do is go over to the right hand side and select our view tab. From our view tab, we will want to look at a top down view, which is the house directly in the middle. This will give us perspective of looking straight down at our paper. From the top down view, the next thing we'll want to do is model what the top of the block would actually look like. We're going to model a square that is 0.75 by 0.75 on the 0, 0 coordinate. So using our toolbar on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and find our rectangle tool, select your rectangle tool, and select the 0, 0 coordinates. Once selecting the 0, 0 coordinates, you may drag your box down into the bottom right hand corner. And without clicking, you're going to want to add your dimensions of 0.75, comma, 0.75, enter. Once you have hit enter, you'll want to go back up to the selection tool and click on the select tool. From here, we can go back to the view tab and select an isometric view. We may then scroll in to see that we have made a three quarter by three quarter inch block on the zero zero coordinate. Now that we have made our box, we may go ahead and select Mike and delete from our file. Once we have deleted our file, we will want to go back to our top view. And using the zoom extents tool on the bottom left hand corner, we can zoom in to see our three quarter inch by three quarter inch cube. From here, we'll zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and select the hand tool and position that somewhere in the upper left hand corner. From here, we'll want to go and create the remainder of our actual shape. So here, we're going to go ahead and make our backward seven by using the line tool. So I'm going to select the line, select the pencil, and in that bottom left-hand corner of my square, I'm going to click on the end point. From here, I'm going to draw a line on the green axis going down at 0.75 inches and hit enter. Once selecting enter, I may go to the right on the red axis for an additional 0.75 inches. Enter. And then I'm going to go down and repeat again on the green axis at 0.75. Enter. And scroll out a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and continue by making the right hand side of the shape by going over an additional 0.75 inches. Enter and then up on the green axis one and a half inches so 1.5 now in order to close our shape what we'll need to do is take our remaining endpoint and go back to the beginning or our starting endpoint and click it that will create a closed figure shape i'm going to click the select tool and i can go back to my view tab and then the isometric view, you can see that we now have this isometric shape. It is still two dimensional, so we're going to need to add our 3D extrusion or push pull to this in order to make it three dimensional. So from my toolbar, I'm going to go and find the push pull. Select your first option, which is push pull. And in our first square that we made, I'm going to click and move the mouse up after clicking. That is going to pull that material up, and before selecting again or clicking again, I'm going to type in the dimension of one and a half inches. Enter. I'm going to repeat the same thing for my backward seven. Click, move the mouse up, but for this one, I'm going to make this 0.75. Enter. Now you can see we have two different shapes here, or two different bodies or solid models. So I'm going to go ahead and select the tool, selection tool. I can use my zoom extents to get it into position, select again, and I'm going to triple click on one of my shapes. That will select the entire model. From here, I'm going to want to select my paint bucket, 
select the paint tool. And from there, I can select any color I would like to color my shape. So for this one, we can kind of look at just the basic colors that we have. We'll go ahead and select red and click on one of the solid models. Select the second solid model and then select my selection tool and click anywhere in the green screen. From here, you have created your first shape using the additive method.